ישראלים? Now we're talking about, you know, the strengthening of the of the rods in the Holy Hashem. In the last generations, that they saw that the Golos becomes longer, you know, it's still, you know, it's long and long and goes on and goes on. They put another bracha in Chutzlah to say another bracha. This entire bracha is everything. That's the whole unit of the bracha. That's the whole unit of the this is very evident to anybody who really, you know, looks into all the highly psukim, the sort of psukim in this bracha. This is the master's word, Elia Anovi, he, he has made this, this tremendous purpose. <coughs> you know, there was a time when, when, when the king... Ahab, <laughs> not the one from Moby Dick, but you know, the, the Achav, he, you know, he married his Klafta, his Ever from, from, uh, from, from, uh, from Tzor, the daughter of the king of Tzor. And she was, she was, you know, she brought with her all the, 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 uh, the, uh, priests of Avodazar and she killed all the Nevi'im in Am Yisrael. She, she just went and persecuted each and every one of them and, and, and uh, so um, it was a whole mess until uh, Eliyahu Novi said you know there's going to be no there's going to be no rain in Am Yisrael because of you talking about uh-huh. And he ran away. He ran away, and everybody was, you know, was 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 looking for him. And he lived in the cave on on Mount Carmel, and the crows were reeking food, and there was there was a man with water, and this is where he stayed. He stayed there for three years. It was davening that the Eber was there, and, and and when he came to Israel, and he said that he was davening this was a good place to daven. He said he was imagining, you know, a lot of he was making his bayers over there, it was, it was Gavaldi. And, um, so in the meantime, there was hunger and that's so all over. And, and, and so, Achav and, 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 uh, and his, his, his slave Ovadia, he was, he took, Ovadia took 80, Prophets, Nevi'im, Nevi Hashem, and hid them, and fed them with, with, uh, you know, gave them bread and water in, in, in caves so that they shouldn't be killed by the agents of of Izevel. During all that time, why did he have money to 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 feed eighty people consistently? What he was doing, he was borrowing. He was borrowing money, Beribis, from Yoram, the son of Ahav. Okay? Well, the bandit. You know, he was, everybody knew he was feeding them, and nobody told Izeva, nobody told. So that was that, the reason why Ahav was winning all the wars, yeah. because even though it was tremendous of the Zohar at the time, but there was no Lashonar. <coughs> nobody spoke Lashonar, nobody said anything. It was a big Musahasko. You know, this says that. You know, in the time the, of, you know, the, when the of English was destroyed, there was Tzitkis, there was Teir, there was a way to say that there was Shinar, and the of English was destroyed. The time of Ahab, you know, he was the king of Israel, not of Judea, but of, of Israel, and the, it was full with the Zara. They were killing the Bi Hashem, but there was no Shinar, 
They were winning all their wars. Comes to show you. But but anyhow, later on, it's, if you remember the story with 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 Alicia, that the woman came to him and she said, you know, the, my dad is want to take my two children as slaves with the miracle, with the oil, with the whole thing. That was Ovadia's wife. Mm. He passed away. And Yoram said, oh, I want money. I want my money. You know, I was going to take your children as slaves. So that was the whole, the, the whole story. That was. Anyhow, be that yeah. as it may. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Hashem told, Hashem told uh, uh, Leal to come out of the cave and meet with, with Ahav. Ahav was meeting, was searching for him for a few years. People were dying of, of hunger. There was no rain. Nothing was growing. And Ahav was so powerful at that time, he asked all over the world. Nobody knew where Eliyahu was. Nobody knew. So he came out in the sea of Adia, and he said, he said to him, go tell Ahav, you know, to come and meet me. So I said, you know, why are you sending me? You, you, know, you, you know, he was looking absolutely everywhere for you. You know, and I've been feeding him. Been, he's going to come. You're not going to be here. You know, and he's going to kill me. He says, don't worry, I'm going to be here. So sure enough, he went to Ahav. He called him and says, Eliyahu is here. He wants to see you. And Ahav came. Ahav sees him from, in, from a distance. And he says, you are the one. You are the killer of Israel. He tells Eliyahu. Because Eliyahu was the one that, that shot of the rain. And I said, oh, not the one. You are the one. Well, you're with your wife and all this. Uh, the Kitsu, the people of Tamil and Nancy so were very confused. They didn't know what the heck was going on. Is it the Baal or the Zohar? Is it Hashem? Is it, what, what are we supposed to do? So... Um, uh, Eliyahu Nobi said, what I want you to do is this. Call all the Nevi'im of the Baal, all the full, false prophets of the Baal, bring them to Havakabu, all of them. And I'm the only one who was left from the Hashem, and everybody else was killed. The were on one side, me on one side, and we'll make a confrontation, a Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, then we'll... So, uh, and I'm sure it came over there, to, you know, to see the spectacle, you know, the one-on-one, -on -one heavyweight, heavyweight yeah. bouts between yeah. Elia and Novi, one person, you know, in this mm -hmm. corner, svelte from Brooklyn, New York, Elia and Novi, you know, alone. Whatever, and over here, there were thousands of Navi Bao with all their... Okay, so this is the rule of the competition. That both are going to be, build an altar. And both are going to shecht an ox. Same, you know, twin baby oxen, you know, I mean, grown oxen, but twins, exactly the same. One for this and one for that. Oh, you shecht them, you put them on your mizbech, I shecht them on my mizbech. And you'll put no fire under the uh, under the mizbeach, and then let them let them daven, you know, yeah. to their, you know, idolatry, you know, to bring the fire down. And I'll daven to Hashem to put the fire down, and the one that will burn, you know, the one that the fire will come from Shemaim and burn it. That's, you know, that's the Elohim. So once and for all people know this is what it is. Fine. They build a very, they build a very elaborate kind of mizbech with wood, whatever it is. And in the wood, they made a tunnel. And in the tunnel, they had one of their guys, you know, was crawling inside to, you know, to, to light up the fire, light up the mango, you know, to, to put up the... So they, they made this misbeach, and their guy, their guy was in there, 
figured this guy probably sacrificed himself because he knew it was going to burn when everything could have come out, you know. But be it as it may, whatever it is, for the czar, anything and everything, you know, it's, it's idealism, whatever it is. And they were making their chants and their dances all around, whatever it is. In the meantime, the guy inside, I put a snake in there. The guy inside, before he was able to actually lie out of the thing, the snake bit him and he killed him. So they were, they were chanting, they were dancing from the morning until, until noon for hours. Okay, just, you know, stop it for a minute.